Hey guys, Tony Story says Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. You guys has forced our hands. Forced our hands. Ask us so many times. I don't know how many times, but ask us so many times that you want the Davidoff Grand Cru Fina review. So instead of doing a podcast on it, we're doing a three-way review. Me, uh Midnight Cigar Eric, and Sen Papi Rick. Uh, he's gonna be doing this cigar and you should be watching this on Friday noontime. So after you watch this one, make sure to go watch theirs for their opinion. And right now, let's take a look at this cigar real quick. Why well, adjust that light? That light just bothers me. All right, here we go. Davidov, Grand Cru, Diademus, Finas. Limited edition collection is one of the four re-roll Davidov collection. They got rid of it and one of the four that came back. It is six and three quarter by 50. MSRP is 57 in a box of 10, so $570 per box. Wrapper is Ecuadorian, binder is Dominican Republic, and filler is Dominican Republic. The last time there was a Diademus, it was the 50th anniversary. Davidoff, Diademus limited edition, 50th anniversary. I I think I did smoke together with that cigar, but I don't think I ever did a like a record on the thing. I mean, if anybody have one more of those things left, let me know. We'll see if uh, we can change or something like that to get that. But that one was with the Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, uh, Dominican Oro Seco binder, and Dominican filler from 2005. And that was done um, well, three, four years back. So let's get started. Okay, so... Um, like I say, this is one of the four bringbacks. Um, but this one's actually the bigger size because the other two were Lanceros, I believe. Uh, if I take a look, the first one was a signature number one limited edition. Second one is the Millennium Blend Lancero, which has like nothing. And the third one is Anniversary number one, which you guys already saw me review. I think I do have a signature number one somewhere. Oh no, I don't have the signature number one, but I do have the Millennium Blend Lancero that I started to do, okay? So we have these right now. It's very similar to the other Finas that they made um, back four or five years ago, 50th anniversary ones. So we'll get started. <laughs> we'll get started. Mm. Smells like cedar wood or like dry oak barrel wood smell. Mm. I'm going to cut it flat then. Here we go. Salty, nutty, woodsy, Grand Cracker. A little bit buttery in. Yeah, a little bit buttery too. All right, <clears throat> let's go. I hope I don't screw that well on one of these. Oh, 
floral, woodsy, cedar, saltiness, almost like cork. A little bit salty, buttery taste. A little bit of a grain cracker. Pepper. Has a little bit of the sour fermentiness. Very light, very light amount. I like that bits of saltiness. It's good. Nutty. Got peanut. Roasted peanut. Those airplane salted roasted peanut. A lot of pepper. A lot of pepper. What? Well, it's, it's really complex. That's a lot of stuff going on. I like it. There's a little bit of like hay grassiness. Just a little bit. That's pretty much it. A little bit of baking spice as well. Yeah, let me smoke one third like here maybe and i'll be right back all right we're at one third one third is a little bit cedar a little bit oak a little bit white pepper a little bit of floral a little bit of cork a little bit of maybe nuts or nutmeg A little bit of creaminess and salt. Not a lot bits of it. There's what it is. It's pretty nice. It's pretty good. But at this point, I'm like, how much longer is gonna take? Like usually a grand crew, this much I'm done. Right? Well maybe about that, about this much. This is a little tip, right? This much. But like this is double that cigar, man. So, I'm afraid that it's going to get boring at the end of it. But right now, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good cigar. And it's about, it's about medium strength. About a medium strength. Burns okay. Draws okay. It's really good. I just don't know what's missing. Something is missing. Oh, there's a little bit of like grassy hay kind of taste to it too here and there yeah what's missing something is missing about this cigar that could have made this perfect i just don't know what it is okay so yeah that's one third let's get the second third be right back all right we're at second third guess what flavor ramped up a little bit got a little bit more sweeter floral is more apparent um still get that oaky taste cedar died a little bit Pepper died a little bit. Strength stayed a median. Naughtiness died a little bit, but there is a, just a slight hint of cocoa that kind of replaced it. But that floral started to get more apparent. Yeah. And some still some little bit of baking spice of some sort. Now, usually at this point, you will be done with um, your cigar. <laughs> but now I got one more third to go. Damn it. So yeah, we're going to keep going on the last third. It's a good cigar, but like, you know, the transition is so minor. And it's such a, on the lighter side of the flavor profile thing. Okay, it's, it's full flavor, but it's like, it's all light notes, right? It's like easy going notes that there is no fight in it. And because there's no fight in it, it's kind of like, ah, yeah. So 
it needs something more. It needs something more punchy. Something. To keep, you know, and if this is just a relaxing cigar, you're having a morning coffee or whatever, perfect. All right, but this is too long even for a morning cigar, you know? Like how long, you gotta sit there for two hours for morning cigars? So, I don't know. Uh, I'm still thinking about it, still trying to enjoy this. Um, it's not a bad cigar per se. It's a lot of flavor. It's just missing something. Just something. All right, so yeah. Laster. Um, I don't know if I want to show you the band. There's nothing to to show on the band, right? You just get a uh, Grand Cru, Dia Demas Fina band, and a standard white Davidoff band in gold. So th th there's nothing special about this. Like they don't really make the special edition any cooler than what it is. Usually just the box and stuff like that. So nothing to that. Laster, we'll be right back. All right, we're done. So, cigar last little bit. Pepper came back just for a brief while. And then everything kind of started to die down from that point. And it kind of tastes just like a regular Grand Cru at the end. But like I say, last third started to get really boring. It's just like, when will this finish? When will this finish? I'm just going to smoke it. When will this finish? And that's the one of those things that when you smoke a long cigar, that's what you get. Medium cigar, you, 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 you don't get that flavor change. If it's like a very a large transition, it gets interesting, but it doesn't. And because it doesn't, it, it gets boring at the end. It gets boring at the end. Um, the flavor, even though it's there, it's like, I don't know, drinking a large bottle of water kind of thing. They just keep going at it. And you're like, oh, it's that same flavor over, over, over. I mean, yeah, if you like the flavor, it wouldn't be a big deal. But I think as you smoke it, it takes so long that the flavor get you get used to that flavor and then you're not getting a lot out of it at the end of that right unless you smoke fast which is not what you want to do anyway so yeah i don't know it's good cigar but it's not that good at the end of it i'd rather just smoke it a nice grand crew and then switch to something else when i'm done with it um instead of smoking a long grand crew thing all right um with that being said, I will rate the cigar 35 bucks. 35 bucks. I think it's a fair range for this cigar. Um, what was it before? 50 something dollars? Uh, 57, I think. That was uh, a little bit too high. But, you know, if you're getting the box and everything, you're collecting it, that's a different story. It is one of those things they brought back. You know, they bring back a cigar that they kind of don't make anymore and and so on so you you get that celebration brought it back kind of thing but normally i think the cigar wasn't that amazing to to be celebrated like if they were to make another you know some sort of layout kind of specialty then yeah because layout has a lot of punching punching flavor is it really is constantly a good amount of flavor and every puff is something this one is so light, but if you're drinking a light latte, coffee or cream and sugar, I can see that it's relatively enjoyable. I try it with the black coffee. The black coffee has more flavor than the cigar. If that like, every time I take a sip, covers everything up. So it's kind of nice that it kind of refreshes the, for the next puff and then the flavor comes back. But again, again, you know, if you smoke two hour this cigar or one and a half hour, the flavor just get you get used to it. It's like, ah, oh, I want something. I want something. It's just missing something. I don't know. Like, you know, maybe this thing has a little bit of punchier flavor to kind of get it refreshed. It will be a much nicer cigar. Okay. So that will be it for the uh, cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Make sure to also check out St. Papi Rick's cigar channel for this cigar review because three way cigar review and also uh, Midnight Cigar uh, Eric's review so that would be it for this one make sure to check out our podcast as well swag and membership try to get 20 people and we'll go from there alright that will be it see you guys next one bye guys